class am I in? 8A. Eight eight eight. Careers. Careers class, okay. You all have learned about yourselves and what you want to do uh, with your life. Do, what, what, what's good for you? What are you going to do? <laughs> um, lawyer. How many of you can tell that this is more than just a job for your teacher? I want to tell you guys that I, um, I think a lot of you all and uh, you know don't be discouraged in this whole this whole process and what you're hearing because there are a lot of people out there supporting you. This one's for you. Okay. Apparently, and these are for the other representatives. Okay. All right. Let me see. Absolutely. So if you could just pass them out. Absolutely. What Scotland is to me. Good morning. Good afternoon. How you doing? Rob Kaufman. Yeah. So we're in the middle of a research project now. So we're working on our bibliography. So that's what we have up on our smart board right now. And what, what does it relate to? What story did we just read? Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. So. Been a while since I read that. <laughs> you only have seven kids in the classroom. Is that is that this typical? Is, this is the smallest class that I have. Some of our kids left Yeah, some of, okay. we've had several kids withdraw okay. after the announcement. Consisting of the interviews of the students and faculty here and their interviews and views of what they ideas of what's going on mm -hmm. sure. today. Great, great. Thank you very much. And you produced this? Yes. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. Okay, you're very well. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. We started the school year with the auditorium open, and then we found that we had some ventilation problems there, and so we had to close this. We initially found that um, to, to fix that, it was $150,000, and then we found some other problem and everything. To make a long story short, we're finalizing the project now, and it will be a little over a million dollars, and almost all of that money came out of our operating funds, uh, money that we would get in our annual budget. And uh, we actually, the first time we used it was when I had to announce to the school that the governor had proposed the closing of the school. And that was the first time that we actually had to use it back in February. So, but as you can see, it's just a, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful uh, auditorium. And you in a, in a typical school district, you have a capital budget, you know, where they're, you know, they're refurbishing the schools, building new schools. Mm -hmm. And here, he's trying to throw it in the operating budget to make it, make everything come together. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just, I wanted to make note of that back in the other, uh, the other location before you came. Here. The one on your left now is the Marshall Fry Gymnasium. What you're looking at right now is, the, you can't see the farmhouse itself, but you'll see it as we approach it. They had their own uh, piggery. They uh, would uh, raise the pigs, slaughter the pigs. They had their own, uh, um, I, I want to call it uh, dress shops, uh, where the young girls made the uh, clothes. Uh, they had their own laundry here. They had just about everything they needed to teach the children uh, the the trades, but then they also used that. They made their own uniforms and so forth. They give you like so much free time here. It's like you're not trapped up all the time. Like you can get out. Yeah, it's activities to do all the time. Like it's not never when you can have to sit in the cottage and be bored. And so it's like it's that, like we're more safe for here than we are at home because like we surround by people who care, not by people who just around the violence, all that other kind of stuff. Up here is more helpful. They get they'll get you tutoring. They'll get you help if you need it. So it's more helpful up here than it is at home. It's vital that Scotland School isn't just a line item on a piece of paper with a dollar figure next to it. It's vital that people see Scotland School as something tangible, um, a real place where real people are, are you know, uh, raised and, and educated and poured into and uh, really made good citizens. And so that was important today to bring um, other members of the legislature here because we need to make an informed decision, not a knee-jerk reaction.